Royal Caribbean's brand new icon of the seas is finally home at Port Miami, becoming the largest cruise ship on the planet. You're not competing with another cruise. You're competing with any other vacation a family would want to do. So I can basically find anything that I want to do on board this ship. And Chief Product Innovation Officer Jay Schneider may actually have planned for everything. And so we purposely put kind of more adult-centric pool next to the slide structure so, you know, mom, dad can sit and immerse in the water while the kid goes on 50 slides. This so-called neighborhood geared toward families is one of eight across the icon, catering to all different experiences. Our first swim-up bar and the largest swim-up bar that anybody's ever put on a ship before. From Chill Island, which offers pools, cabanas, and that bar, swim and tonic, to Thrill Island. With surfing and slides that create a thunderous water park atmosphere. You're looking out at the Caribbean as if you're flying into it flying over the boat yeah. asleep. And Central Park, which has shopping and a 10 course meal option alongside some jazz. But expect to be wound inside too with what Schneider calls the mic drop moment. Three stories of glass views and the pearl. The pearl is the world's largest kinetic art sculpture. Um, it's a, an arrival moment for us. For some families, like the McMasters and 11-year-old Bella, the arrival of the Aqua Dome and its high-tech performances prompted mom to book a cruise for 20. Just the fact that there's so much available for all ages is what appealed to me the most. There's so many things like the robots and like the water and the divers. <laughs> Broadway's Wizard of Oz finds a home at the Royal Theater with the Wicked Witch of the West and a Dorothy whose real name is Ruby. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I fly not once, not twice. I fly three times in this show. Which brings us to another form of flying, the Crown's Edge Walk, allowing passengers to dangle along the side of the ship. This carabiner is pretty strong. Yes. Okay, this isn't scary at all. After a few deep breaths, here goes nothing. Oh, oh my God. An adventure befitting of a first of its kind ship. And I'm glad that everyone believes at home that I was actually nervous for that, all for the cameras, obviously. Guys, there's been a lot of talk right now about comparing the Icon of the Seas and the Titanic. Just from a visual perspective, look at this graphic. You're talking about the difference between 46,000 gross tons and 250,000 gross tons. Yeah, some saying it looks kind of like a tugboat compared to the Icon. As far as the total size here, in terms of passengers, it's roughly 7,500 plus a couple thousand plus crew members, so you're talking about 10,000 people total, give or take a capacity the size of a small city. No, no yes. question. I mean, that's next wow. level on, on yeah. so many levels, Sam. <laughs> what, when and where is the, is the cruise going to set sail? Okay, so January 27th, Craig, is the maiden voyage. They are doing alternating trips to the eastern and western parts of the Caribbean. It also, they both include a stop at a private island that Royal Caribbean owns in the Bahamas, which is the perfect day at Coco Cay. That's what they call it. The demand is so over the top at this point that they've moved up booking for a sister ship that is not even in existence at this point. That is the level of buzz right now that the Icon of the Seas is generating. Jeez, wow. It's massive. Wow. All right. Sam yeah. Brock, thank, thank you. you, Sam. Man. Well, that's something. Floating city. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.